Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time and every time I vlog, I always say it's been a long time. It has been a long time. Before we begin, I'm just gonna style my hair using my The Juju Club scrunchies. We are available on Shopee and soon we're gonna have a website. We're just fixing everything up for you guys. Make sure that everything is almost perfect once we launch that website. So the episode that we're gonna be doing today is a Q&A because I feel like I haven't really caught up with you guys. We really haven't um, checked on each other lately. So I kinda just wanna give you guys a few updates. So so, um, fail again. I'm gonna go closer, okay? All right. This is my scrunchie up close. I have this white. I have so much scrunchies in the Juju Club, you guys. So if you like any of that, if you like clips, if you like pocket hats, if you like shades, scrunchies, clips, accessories, jog holders, sneak peek. This will be available by the time this one's out. So I'm just gonna style my hair. I think it's cute, yeah. Mm. Messiness. Okay, you guys, we're ready. Okay. Before we start, thank you flowerstore.ph for my yellow tulips. They're so pretty. They do same day delivery. They delivered this to me the same day I asked for them because I love flowers, I like tulips, and I like always having something like this at home. It makes me happy. Okay, so Q&A. <laughs> That's a nice question. I feel like we should be asking each other more how we are. How am I? I'm actually doing great these days. We've been very busy. We've been very blessed. And I've been very, very grateful. You know, with the launch of the Juju Club and that's something that I love to do. That's a dream come true. And we've been shooting, which I really, really love to do as well. And I can't wait for next year. So we got a, a month left till 2022. I'm excited. That's a good question. So for many years now, I've really been thinking about what kind of business I really want to do and what kind of business will really best represent who I am and the things I genuinely love and enjoy using and enjoy having. And with the Juju Club coming out, I feel like that brand represents me as a whole and everything that, that I love and everything that says Julia. I've always wanted to just come up with something that could be incorporated in everybody's lives. I wanted it to become a lifestyle for everybody because all the products you see in the Juju Club has been my lifestyle and has been a big part of my life so you know with whatever you're seeing now it doesn't really end there we have a lot more products for you guys and i i, I really can't wait to launch all of this and share this with all of you but then again yeah being 24 and i've been working since i was a kid being smart with your money and putting it where it can grow again because we're not getting any younger so we need to start investing our money and putting it into good use kailangan nanganganak yung pera mo in short <laughs> Okay, Juju. Well, I am Juju. Juju also means luck. So it's either you have bad Juju or good Juju. But with the Juju Club, we always just want to spread good Juju, which is also good luck and everything good. And that's sort of what the brand is all about also, just spreading good, good energy, good luck. One thing I can't live without, I want to think of something deep, but then I really just can't live without my phone. Um, I feel like just a lot of the stuff I've been working on has been on my phone, so... Food that makes me happy, either pasta or pizza. Actually, tonight for dinner with my friends, I'm gonna have pizza. I think that's my comfort food. My pet peeve, well, okay, let's just be honest, I don't like being rushed. I hate, not hate, I really dislike the feeling of when somebody pressures you, like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, like, that gives me so much anxiety. It makes me lose my focus and my direction and my sanity because I feel like um, I'm not given enough time to really figure it out what I gotta do, what I'm rushing for, and I love to be on time and I love to get ready like long before I have to be at a certain place or whatever my schedule is because I don't like being rushed. I don't like that pressure. So that's my pet peeve. Okay, what movie made you cry the most? Besides Marley and Me? Pababaw yung luha ko. Parang kahit anong film na may touching moment, may iyak ako. But Marley and Me made me cry so much. John Q of Denzel Washington made me cry so much. Everybody's fine. Oh my gosh, that movie. Just any family movie just makes me cry. What would be your advice to those teenagers like me who want to enter showbiz? 
We'll finish school first. Um, one of my mom's rules for me before I had entered show business full time was to finish high school. I have not been able to do college, which is something I wish I had been able to do. If getting into the business is what you like, then go for it. But what is the reason why you want to get into the business? Is it because you're passionate about, let's say, acting. If you are, then go for it. Acting requires a lot of experience. But if you're gonna enter it for fame, I don't know if that's really a solid reason for you to have the stamina for this kind of business. I think you have to have insane, intense stamina to, to stand this world, which isn't so bad, but you gotta be tough and you gotta have like a deeper reason. So that every time like you think of giving up, you go back to the reason why you're in it in the first place. Well, definitely the people in my life. So I'm talking about my siblings, I'm talking about my mom, I'm talking about the people closest to me, I'm talking about my partner. These are the people that really make me strive to be the best version of myself every day for them and of course for me. So yeah. Yes! Blackpink, everybody knows that. You know, I love them. <laughs> Is there a season two of I Am You? We are hoping for a season two. I am hoping for a season two also, you guys. I hope that really happens. And I hope to be reunited with everybody that I was, you know, given the opportunity to work with. One of my favorite series to ever do, and that's something I would do all over again. That's not something that really comes easy for me personally. It's so hard to advise, especially when that's something that you try to achieve every single day. But I think the moment that I was able to set myself free was the moment I just had accepted all my my flaws, my imperfections, and my insecurities, no matter how cliche that may, that may sound. I think the moment that you accept the person that you are, and then you're honest about the things that could be improved, and then if you're also honest about the things that you like about yourself, that you would like to retain about yourself, and that's every day. It's every day you find things that you have to improve on, and every day you figure out things that you actually like about yourself. But one of the top things that will help you love yourself more is if you stop comparing yourself to other people. Your path, God's plans for you, your dreams are different from everybody else. You're absolutely the only one with the dreams like that, with the plans like that, with a personality like that. Everything that you are, you're the only one in the world like that. So don't dare compare yourself to anybody else. How do you stay grounded with all the success you have? Asked by my brother-in-law, Javi. That's a really good question. Because sometimes when you're in an industry like this, you will tend to lose yourself at times and forget a lot of things that you have to be reminded of every day. But with everything that I've been through and everything that I learned is that you have to acknowledge the fact that everything is temporary. The success you have now might be different from the success that you have next month, next year, 10 years from now. Don't let anything that's going on around you get in your head so much because you can lose it in a snap of a finger. My holy grail skin products. Okay, well, very important for me, I'll share with you guys the brand, but very important for me to have cleanser, to have toner, and moisturizer. And I like this thing that they call the skincare diet. And I really appreciate that Pons came out with this new range. I'm going to bring it out. I, I like to call this the power duo because I believe that less is more. So the less you do to your skin, the better for your skin. These are my favorite products from Pons, which is the Pons Healthy Hydration Aloe Vera. This is my absolute favorite from the range. And also their hydrating jelly moisturizer so i love these two because sometimes like at night or like in the morning when i don't need to put so much i'm good with these two and i'm ready to go one of my favorite ingredients from this product is niacinamide i love niacinamide so much i'm a skincare junkie well i'm not a professional but this is everything that i i know about niacinamide because I have been searching up on this ingredient. I know that niacinamide is so good in minimizing your pores. Um, this is good for everybody who, for anybody who isn't really into makeup or like to have their no makeup days or their makeup free days, which is like for me because I always have to wear makeup almost every day of my life. So I appreciate it more when I have makeup free days. 
Um, it's also good with preventing acne. It's good for your acne scars. It's also good for anti-aging. Um, it has a lot of benefits. Actually, niacinamide, I think, is a holy grail ingredient also in your skincare. And I like that these products are infused with it. One of the things I also like about this range is that it's very lightweight. So I'm gonna put one now. It's very watery, actually. So when you put it, it's not sticky, it's not oily. And sometimes I have combination skin. So I can be oily here in my T-zone and then really dry in the rest of my face. So I like this because it doesn't oil, it doesn't make my face oily during the day or even when I wake up like I don't wake up with oily skin that's also like a pet peeve of mine. These are very lightweight. They can last up to 24 hours and give you just that perfect glass skin. I love these too. If you want to try a skincare diet, you might want to try this. If there's anything to add, maybe you could add any toners from Pons from the brand, but this one as I like to call it my power duo. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I love about this Healthy Hydration Aloe Vera Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer. I like to use this moisturizer before putting on my makeup because it makes it non-greasy, non-oily. Um, it's lightweight, but it doesn't dry out my skin. It keeps it plump. Um, it's, it's enough to keep my skin hydrated during the day. It's also good as a makeup primer, but if you want to still use your primer, go ahead. But I love this because it's a good makeup base, especially at shooting, um, being under the sun the whole day, and then just being sweaty and all from all the work that you're doing. It really keeps my skin from being oily, and that's one of my favorite things about it. This one also actually, when you look at the cleanser, it's not your usual cleanser. It's also jelly type and I like this because it's so light. Um, I have very sensitive skin so I can't use anything that's too harsh for my sensitive skin. This one is so lightweight, so gentle. The formula is great. It's infused with niacinamide again, one of my favorite ingredients. Again, because it's aloe vera, it has 100% natural origin extract. It's 100% alcohol free, 100% paraben free, dermatologically tested. I highly recommend these products. We also have watermelon, we have orange. This is my favorite, aloe vera. No question, I just love the Oh, thank you, darling. Okay, I love you. <laughs> what is your favorite wine? You should get, I'm not gonna give a brand, but type of wine I'll uh, get Shiraz because you want something that's really smooth. Like when you drink it, you want it to just glide down your throat and not be too harsh and too dry. So get Shiraz, okay. I'm just so grateful, you guys. My heart, everything in me has been so filled with gratitude and I say that all the time. Actually, I think my favorite word now is grateful or gratitude because that's all I've been feeling these past few months. I'm just so grateful with the feedback and the response that I've been getting from you guys. It has been so positive. It's been good juju um, and I'm just so grateful because during challenge, challenging times like this, I'm able to still build the brand of my dreams and it's so well received by you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you very very happy if i can do it you can do it i just want to be with my family and all my favorite people in the world i don't know yet where we're going to do it the number one thing for me is just to be surrounded with the people that that i love hair clamp or scrunchies both guys girls my takeaway from 2021 is everything gets better days do get better and i promise i promise i promise Hold on, we can do this. Oh, I just wanna make a lot more films. I wanna keep acting. Okay, so to end this question and the answer with you guys, the last question is from Hero. He asks me, what is my Christmas wish? My Christmas wish is just more peace around everybody, more good energy, and more success for the Juju Club. Thank you guys. I've missed you guys, but I'll see you guys soon.